Bye, JJ. I love you. I'm gonna catch big fish. Bye, baby. I love you. Stop number four, Lake Eufaula, for the pro circuit. We are on the way. About a six and a half, seven hour drive. So, kind of uh, in between drive compared to the others on the schedule. Uh, ought to go by quick. Worked till midnight last night, but got an early start this morning. Left the house at eight, so I uh, feel like I'm on track to get there and got to get a few rods squared away and get some groceries, try to get some rest. Looks like thunderstorms for practice tomorrow and possibly Tuesday as well. Uh, I got two days to figure out deep fish, shallow fish, and the fish in between. But hey, you follow, known as the big bass capital of the world to some, so we're going to be around the big ones. We just got to figure out how to put them in the box every day. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, I got to say, it looks like the bass capital of the world. Docks, grass, grassy points, beautiful water. Can't wait. All right. Pretty basic, this, this trip. Tiny. First morning of practice, Lake Eufaula. It's uh, got some pretty crazy weather coming in. Looks like a lot of thunderstorms with bad front heading this way. So it's just cloudy this morning, but we're gonna have to monitor that. Probably have to hide from some lightning at some point. Well, I just had two and one of them came off and there was about a boatload with it. Well, day one of practice, I'm not crushing them. I had that one school of fish this morning and then went just a little ways and found some more. And it's been pretty slow since then. I did have a four or five pounder eat a frog and I didn't set the hook on him, but uh, just not catching many fish, not seeing many deep fish. I've done a lot of idling and keep plugging away. Day two practice. Uh, hopefully things are better today. I had to put in down at the lower end of the lake to try to save some time. Gotta have something to complain about. I woke up this morning and the plug, the outside plug on our place had uh, gone out so the batteries weren't charged. So I gave them a quick charge and put in down the lake and hightailed it way up the river just to try to sample a different section of the lake. Big shad spawn up here. Uh, caught some spots on a spinner bait early. Nothing that's gonna do me any good. I, Jumped around, hadn't seen any good fish on the shad spawn. So I'm just gonna keep running deep stuff, work my way back down the lake. Got possibly some hail and high winds coming this afternoon. So I need to get something figured out before that gets us. My recap of practice, terrible. Yesterday, a lot of graphing. I spent more time committing up to shallow fish, just trying to see what I could do to get a bite. And didn't have many bites. I did catch one on a swim jig, have one roll on a buzz bait. So there's fish shallow, but it just seems like they're few and far between. I've had bad practices, but still had confidence in where to put myself to be around fish. Right now, I'm not sure of that. So I'm just gonna have to have a bunch of rods on the deck and try a bunch of stuff and pick up on any clue the fish give me tomorrow and go from there. I've graphed enough to where I think the places that had like a fish or two on them, I can maybe go revisit those and see if more fish have pulled out there. Um, other than that, I've got that one school where I doubled and had a bunch behind it uh, in that creek. And if that does not play out for me, then I'm literally just going scrambling. So, uh, not, not stressing out by any means. Practice doesn't mean a whole lot, but I wish I could have at least put together a few more pieces of the puzzle. But hey, uh, we can get that done tomorrow. and best way to figure fish out is on tournament day. It's early. Uh, morning of day one. Cold, windy. Again, that's the theme for this year. It's cold. I think it'll be cold when we fish in July, but uh, north wind whooping it. They're dropping the lake like crazy. The bad fishing probably just got worse. It's going to be a grind.
Ez van. came off of the net. Lord have mercy on my soul.
calling. One forty eight. at the camera hold your fish up <laughs> don't hide your face now good morning day two from Lake Eufaula for the pro circuit stop number four uh, had a good day yesterday things went well I uh, had an early start it was much better than I deserved and hopefully we can get on that school today get them fired up and have another good day too we got a three o'clock check-in totally different weather light and variable winds high sun so uh, I'm expecting to have to go to a lot of brush today and, and uh, just hit as many places as I can and be thorough and take advantage of what we got. If I can catch what I did yesterday, then hopefully we can bump up into the top 10. So let's see what happens. This is Jay and Danielle's first pro circuit event. So I'm so excited to have my family here this morning. Hopefully I can bring them a bag of fish this evening. I love you. I'm gonna go catch you a big old fish, okay? All Good right. luck. Here, let me carry you. Thank you, buddy. But number 13, all right? Yeah, there's been a shad spawn for sure. I can't get any information, so don't tell me anything to help me. Thank you, though. Thank you. He come on. Freaking six pounder. Up. 
please go. Too heavy. There you go. I believe he'll go. Help. Yes. Yeah, man, that was a long time coming. Thought you quit on me. Give me some. <laughs> Thought you wow. quit on me. Give me some. Good job. Thank you, Lord. Good job. Man. That fish was on the very top of something suspended. You got up to I was working up a tree. And it got to the very top, and when I felt it pull over, he grabbed it. They're suspending up. Big time. Yeah. And if she can reach that hot foot, you better get a grip, because <laughs> she don't... Surprises. Lake Point Resort, State Park, and everybody watching out there on MajorLeagueFishing.com. We have made it to day three. See, this makes bubbles. Knucklehead, he said. For the fish. Oh, no. yes, right. All right, boy. Come on. Come here. This guy's been on a tear this year, man. He's already won a series. Mm. We left his name is Jimmy Washam. He's got some good-looking family coming up here with him. He had a good day one with 14 pounds, 10 ounces. He's got a limit today that weighs 9 pounds and 11 ounces. So, Jimmy, I got you the 24.5 overall, man. Talk to me. Tell you what, I really hope that keeps me where I need to be. Uh, it was a much tougher day for me. It looks like a lot of guys caught him, but uh, what a great week. You know, it's the first time that I've had my wife, my little boy at a pro circuit event. So we're just uh, proud to have them here. And hopefully we can hang in and, with, and we can let the family see what day three's like. Yeah, they don't want to leave you. That's right. I heard that, man. Give you one of those right there, see you, little man. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good job, dude. Thank you. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, thank you. You are the uh, the ultimate artist. Who's brought stripes and bright stars? I'm about to blast off. All right, give me a big hug. We're gonna catch a big fish, okay? okay? I love you. Yeah, boy. Boat number forty-six. Yes, sir.
box, boy. cold. Young man, you got there. Jimmy Washam from Covington, Tennessee. 14-10 on day one. Had 9-11 on day two. And five more today. Jimmy, you had 29-10. No, you had 24-5. You had 24-5 coming into day three. Had you 46th place. All right. To get into the top 10 to knock out Ramey Coulson Jr. You need 16 even. A five bass in the water. 14-2, so a great jump on day three, man. That's got you all the way up in the 19th place. A good day three for Jimmy Washington. Absolutely, Chris. You know, I had the bites this week to be in the top five. I, I, there's probably plenty of people out there with that story, but you know, sometimes things go your way and it's just meant to be, and sometimes they don't. But I've learned in this game, I've done it long enough now to, to be 
twice as thankful for those fish that you do land than to be remorseful for the ones that you lose. Sure. You just said, you know, yesterday I lost a six and a four in the, probably the first 10 or 20 minutes of the day, and it, it got to me a little bit. It's hard to, to not let it, but today things went just right. You know, uh, catching uh, creek channel fish on a, on a shell bed, I had a, a big school that I was able to work on for three days and getting them fired up with a Z-Boss 20, and man, that's just so much fun. That's how I love to fish, you know? And uh, that that Z boss, if you're if you're from the Ufala area, I'm telling you, they're eating it, man. I tried a bunch of different crankbaits in practice, and that Z boss was the deal. Uh, big thanks to my uh, dealer, Midway Marine, Fulton, Mississippi. They're the best dealer in the South for Ranger Nitro Tracker, Rockfish gloves. They're the best gloves that I've worn, sun gloves. So uh, check them out. A really great price, and uh, of course, Profound Outdoors, the Azuma line of crankbaits are are really the deal. Lawrence was a huge deal this week with my total Lawrence system from trolling motor to to electronics uh you know line up on those fish and, and make them bite so uh very very happy to have my little boy and my wife here this week Heck it's the yeah. first pro circuit event they've made so now it's uh it's on the chick that's it buddy thank you chris you bet thank you jimmy jimmy washam moves from 46th to 19th great day three